Live outdoor music and entertainment is one step closer tonight to becoming a permanent fixture in New Orleans. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Outdoor entertainment was illegal in the city until the pandemic when it opened the door for musicians to make a living amid restrictions and for all of us to get out of the house. Eleanor Tabone is live tonight in the French Quarter. Eleanor, council members today decided on more changes to the rules. That's right, Devin. You know New Orleans is known for its music, culture and live entertainment. The city today announcing that live entertainment can continue, announcing they're going to make it easier for venues to get permits to have live entertainment. One of those venues is Zoni Mash. Here's what they had to say. The temporary permits that the city offered definitely allowed our business to stay in business. Zoni Mash survived the pandemic because of outdoor entertainment. There was just such joy not to just see music, but to see music together as a community. Alexis Annis from the venue says during the pandemic, outdoor music brought people together when indoor music venues were closed. And now to be able to permanently have music, it allows us to offer a safe space for the community, for entertainers, for our staff. It gives those businesses again an opportunity to do things right and legal. Howie Kaplan, Director of Office of Nighttime Economy, says this ordinance will close a loophole that prohibited venues from showcasing musicians regularly. Based on their zoning or where they are in the city or, you know, how their operation goes, it's not a one size fits all. There are regulations. Outdoor venues must apply for a permit. They cannot have live music three days in a row and there'll be time regulations based on location. Which is going to blast out neighbours. Dr Travis Kinney has lived in the quarter since the 70s. At my home, I put in over $100,000 worth of sound insulation to be able to survive there. His concern is this new ordinance will just bring more noise. Do not allow amplification outside. Let it play. Meanwhile, over in the Marini, Chuck Wallace has been enjoying the music since the 70s. From the distance from Frenchman Street, I enjoy the music at night. Sitting on his front porch in the evenings, he's all for the rhythm and blues. We need music. New Orleans is music. Devin, so what we learned today is that a business can apply for a, a, a permit and that permit can last up to one year in comparison to lasting to three to six months. So it will make it much easier for businesses going forward. Reporting live, Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Eleanor.